Welcome to Curriculum Night. Uh, I'm Mr. Rennie. Great to meet you. I'm Mr. T, Mr. Turley. It's also great to meet you as well. We're going to be talking about pre-algebra, eighth grade math, which is a co-taught class between myself and Mr. Turley. You'll hear more about that as we progress through. First quick word of introduction. And as soon as this slide goes to the next one. And I'll tell you this about me. I'm a Washington State native and an alumni of the Washington State University. This is my 12th year teaching math in middle schools. Actually, that should say 13th. I should update that, right? But it's lucky number 13, whatever. I started at Islander back in 2004, and I've been the cross-country and track coach up till recently. And then, so this year, I love hiking, live music, all the fun stuff. And then you can see all the pictures of me with my kids, family, wandering around New York, and then also a beautiful, beautiful picture of me in, as a 14-year-old. So just like your kids. I don't have any of those cool photos when I was 14. But um, I do have cool photos of things I love to do, which I love being outside. Renee and I share that in common. Uh, I am not a Washington native. I've come to Washington by, uh, from Vermont by way of Colorado. Uh, this will oh this will be my ninth year teaching with this, with all kinds of students, and I've teach it taught all the things in all the places. I have had math class in auto shops. I've had English class on the farm. I've taught here, there, and everywhere. And I'm excited to be here at IMS for my third year. Uh, when I'm not IMS, travel, play, and doing adventures are my jams. So you're probably asking why there's two of us on the screen and what is co-teaching. Well, co-teaching is the ability for both of us to kind of capitalize on our strengths. And uh, as Mr. Shirley said, he's taught in a lot of different environments to a wide range of students. And I've kind of taught across the board to a wide range of mathematical um, situations all the way from fourth grade up through high school classes. So we kind of bring two different poles in and uh, he brings a lot of the teaching and learning stuff. And I bring a lot of the mathematical parts and uh, our, hopefully our, our combination ends up being better than the sum of its part. However that works out. Whole, sum, parts. Whole, like two plus two equals five. Yeah, right? something like that, That's right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty awesome though because uh, your students get two full teachers for their math class, right? So if they have a question, they can go to any of us at any time. And they can also like, both Ryan and I teach all the time. Like I'll teach one thing, he'll teach another. Sometimes we'll switch. Sometimes we get to do a cool thing is because our rooms are side by side. I'll have the half of the class do an activity. He'll have half the class do an activity and then we'll switch. And so they get to experience mathematics in this really deep and interesting way. That's just not possible unless you have two full teachers in the classroom. It, it gives us an extreme amount of flexibility to meet your kid where they're at. And so we get to challenge those who need more challenge. We support those who need a little extra support and we keep uh, students right on grade level moving along. All right, nuts and bolts parts. Where's all the good stuff? The stuff you're looking for to keep your kid on track. The short answer, Schoology. Everything is available on Schoology. You'll find either your first or four or your first or third period class, and you'll look to the materials page. Everything goes to the materials page, and it's going to be organized by week. Find the information for that week. You'll find the assignments for that week. You'll find answer keys for that week. You'll find notes. You'll find extra activities, sometimes a video or two, anything that we decide to stuff in there that works for that particular week. So if your student has, happens to be absent, your first move should be having them log on to their Schoology because they can see a lot more than you can do the parent Schoology and looking at what we posted. We're more than happy to help, but we do want students to take a look before they come to us. All right, over the course of the year, what will we learn? What's the kind of big picture, 30,000 foot view? It looks like this. We'll be starting out with rational numbers as we go into things and dealing with lots of fractions and fraction operations. Moving on from there into algebraic expressions, building some of those basics, that fundamentals, that foundation for algebra next year. From there, a section on exponents uh, and kind of building out algebraic expressions and adding exponents to them. Then on to linear functions and graphing. We'll find out exactly what it looks like to graph a line, to represent it uh, graphically, to represent it as an equation, to represent it in a tabular format, and to represent it with words as well. 
after that, complex equations, we're going to make things even more complex because we like to do that. It's fun. Um, and look at complex inequalities and how those two kind of go together as two sides of the coin. From there, it's into some stuff on statistics, central tendency, measures thereof, and then triangle relationships. The way that we build all the stuff that we build, the way that we give structure to the structures that we have. So, uh, truly, you want to talk about grades? Yeah, so grading this year, we're going to be using the standards-based grade scale. So I'm going to go ahead and show that. Uh, we were all given letter grades. Now we're going into number grades, a one, two, three, and four. And Ray and I really want to stress that a three is not equivalent to a B. This is not interchangeable with A, B, C, and D. Absolutely not. This is a totally different scale, one, two, three, or four. And you can see what each letter or what each number stands for. And we really want to stress that if a student is getting a three, they are perfectly at eighth grade level, exactly, absolutely exactly where they should be. As far as fours go, we get a lot of questions from students around this, so we're just gonna address it right here. Fours are very rare. This, fours are for students who are showing um, understanding of significantly above and beyond what we expect an eighth grade student to do. So if you're, if you're seeing threes across the board, your students is doing exactly what they need to, you don't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. A change... Go ahead, Marty. Sorry, I was going to say, if you see twos and two and a halves, then that means we're on track. We're we're right on the on the slope and ready to get there to the threes. We expect lots of students to be demonstrating that they are approaching that standard, that they're on the way, almost there. So please, please, please do not use these grades in a punitive way. I know that kind of generations past, maybe grades were used um, either at school or at home in a punitive way. If a student is at a two, that does not mean that they are flunking the class or they are not doing well. It just means that that student is on their way to the standard and we are intervening and we are working with them to get them to that standard. What I was gonna say, and it pairs exactly with what Renning just said, is that we don't expect students to have threes right now. Mm -mm. This is the beginning of the school year, beginning of every unit, having a one even is normal because we haven't taught anything. We haven't really dove into the standard. However, if we get to the, the test and we're still seeing ones, that's when we're concerned. But the normal progression that you'll see over time is a student starting with a one, moving to a two, maybe a 2.5, and by the end of the unit, getting to a three. And we'll keep track of that along the way, just like Renny said, to make sure that we're working hard to get them to standard. All right, well, that's about it. The last piece is if you want to contact us, please email both of us. And here are both of our email addresses there. One or both of us will reply to you as soon as possible. But please, when you reach out, reach out to both of us and encourage your students, if they send a Schoology message, that they address it to both Mr. Turley and myself so that we are both in the loop on what's going on. We try to share as much information as possible, but it makes it a whole lot easier if you reach out to both of us at the same time. Please, please, please. And that's it. That's pre-algebra. That's math for this year. Again, if you have questions, comments, um, concerns, feel free. Email us both. Hopefully we'll see you. Thanks. Bye.